it's interesting when you talk about certain things and you get banned from it or shadow banned or your channel completely deleted then they come out with truth it's amazing how they want nothing to do with you a bunch of doctors are getting together because they're looking into a simple fact guys that we have all noticed that cancer is up dramatically so a bunch of scientists rather doctors are getting together because they are all coming to the same conclusion we did about two years ago that the arm ticket is causing rather excuse me let me let me say it the way it was written they are trying to find if there is a link to the mr. 19 arm ticket and cancer going up excuse me now we know what it is we know exactly what's causing this uptick in cancers in fact even the term turbo cancer is new and when did that fucking term start about two years ago actually three when they started giving it to people and within the first year people saw or rather countries and states saw a shoot up a dramatic rise in sudden cancers that came out of nowhere now we're about three years in and now they're like oh shit no shit oh shit listen there were doctors that were speaking out against this there were YouTube channels talking about this and they got canceled they got ostracized some doctors were being threatened that they were gonna lose their license YouTube channels were completely deleted for no reason at all with no warning it's still happening to this day and YouTube refuses to tell the truth and again that's how you know what kind of place YouTube is they're full of shit because they're going after people who are telling the truth and then the truth is coming out now whether or not it, it wasn't available at the time which it was because if you did the research you start putting two and two together you did a little bit of detective work you were like hey this has got to be something we didn't have this problem four years ago but when something came out something else started happening suddenly and fast and then they're like oh no that wasn't it that had no that had nothing to do with the uptick and whatever it is listen because of this thing being introduced to us the mr. 19 arm ticket there's an uptick in people offing themselves there's an uptick in rare ailments that people don't normally get there's an uptick in cancers heart issues forget about blood clots brain issues nervous system the whole nine yards there's an uptick in all of it and though a lot of people are trying to make sense of it and they're going well it's just the food we're eating a lot of the ingredients in the food that we're eating did not change in the last four years. We're just noticing them now because we're looking for a reason for what's going on. So now people are looking at food and like, look at this shit that's in our food. Why well, that shit's been in there for years, guys? Years. Now, granted, it's great that we're also focusing on the food now because that shit is terrible. And when you look at other countries, you're like, yo, they don't even have half the shit we have in it. We need to do something. Now, that's a different subject and a different conversation altogether. But the arm ticket, which a lot of us had said was going to cause these problems, and I didn't say it, I was just pretty much repeating what a doctor said after she showed the research, after a scientist I know in the pharmaceutical industry showed me what Mr. 19 was. And when this person showed me what it was, I knew exactly what we were dealing with, and then I listened to doctors who that is their wheelhouse, I'm not going to argue with them. I'm not going to tell them that they're stupid. They don't know what they're talking about. They schooled me, and then I repeated what I heard from them, <clears throat> from them and the information I got from other people who are in that field. And now this is where we are. Now you got scientists going, oh, shit. You got scientists and doctors in the U.K. going, why are so many people passing away? It doesn't make sense. You got the Japanese minister, I think it was, or Korean, um, not minister, excuse me, it was a Japanese senator or a Korean senator of some kind apologizing to the people because they're like, I didn't, I didn't know this was going to happen, you know. And so you got people, guys, realizing they fucked up. They screwed this up. And not only did they screw this up, we know why they screwed this up. It's not a surprise. I'm not surprised that this was going to do what it's doing. I am surprised at some of the things that are coming out of the arm um, tickets, but other things I'm not. With that, guys... Whatever they push next can't possibly be good. Now, I find it interesting that the Mr. 19 arm ticket, they pushed through and they said it's safe and all this other nonsense. But meanwhile, there's still senators 
are still fighting, or rather the pharmaceutical companies, excuse me, are enticing senators to fight on their behalf to get rid of vitamins and natural supplements. It's a thing that's been going on for about over 20 years now. I'm 46 years old. They've been doing this shit since I was in my late, early, late teens, early 20s. That shit they're giving us a problem on, that shit they're, put, they're, they're making it hard for a lot of these companies to start these supplement companies. But something like this that was extremely dangerous, and we're seeing the, the, the kickback from it, I guess. Right? We're seeing the effects of it now, and now they're like, oh, well, you know what, we're not sure. You're not sure about that, but something that can absolutely help you, whether that's your digestive system, your mental health, and we're talking about vitamins and natural supplements. Shit like that can actually help. There's actual studies on it. And senators and, and pharmaceutical companies are going, no, those stuff, that's bad for you. But let's rush this thing out and tell you it's safe. And now look at the outcome. Look at all of the outcome behind it. Look at all of the people having issues. Anyway, guys, they're going to make it in extremely hard for us to take whatever new nonsense they have coming out and whatever they release they're going to come out with an emergency vaccine for it and be like, we need you guys to take this for that. You know how many of us are not going to take this shit now? Forget about it. It's like, I, I know I know people who are staunch, like, we got to take this arm ticket. Then they're now like, I'm not taking whatever the hell they push out now. I want nothing to do with it. This is what happens when you start pushing around falsehoods and falsities and shit. Because now people's eyes are wide open and they're like, something's up. Something's got to be up. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel.